What's up guys, it's your boy Young Text, and for more breakdowns on theories of what is actually happening, if you're wondering what actually happened at the end of this game, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to join the P12 squad. I'm going to be explaining that on my channel. I've pretty much been streaming Undertale for a few, probably half a year, and uh, pretty much back to back every day. I even make Undertale comics, and feel free to hit the bell to join the P12 squad, subscribe if you want to. Um, without further ado, I'm also going to have music from uh, Undertale, I'm just going to put it on the channel if you guys want to listen to it, and I hope you guys enjoy it if you do subscribe. So, um... Feel free to check out my other videos and thank you so much for clicking on the video and giving it a chance. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's give you guys what you came here for. Peace out. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Young Tex making theories for Delta Rune and comics. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to join the Pichero squad. If it's set out streaming at the top, feel free to come to the streams to meet me and debate me on my theory. This is my theory of what chapter two of Delta Rune is gonna be about. So as we all know, at the end of Delta Rune, holy crap, everyone thinks Chris is Kara or some kind of demonic thing. What this actually led me to believe, since we know Kara loved genocide route and loved Kidling, and that's probably gonna be something that's brought back over to this game in some way, shape, or form. I speculate that Chris may have killed these people here. Now the reason I believe that is because I know for a fact this isn't the first time Chris has entered the dream world. If you actually start the game up without going outside with Torrell into the car, you can actually enter the dream world just by going to sleep. And um, you can also, um, let's see here, There's something I want to check. You can also uh, look in his room and uh, look at the cage and the cage says it's been used quite a few times. So the reason I think this is because this would actually make the game make sense. If you actually go to Undying and talk to her, she talks about how her job is boring and how she wishes um, something exciting would happen. Could this be the exciting thing that she needs to happen? Or am I just wrong about my theory? Feel free to let me know. But I believe this theory could be possible because it actually makes sense. For Undyne to be the police, and um, it would honestly, honestly, I, I really hope this theory is correct. To show you guys what I mean by um, the Torrell thing and the cage being used quite a few times, if you just go up, uh, upstairs into the room, you can actually check the cage. It's a red wagon with a rusty barricade. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Somebody in my uh, stream actually theorized that this stain on the floor could be blood. There's been blood in Undertale whenever Sans died, so don't say there hasn't been blood in Undertale before, or Deltarune, or whatever. Um, so, and here's what I was saying, if you like were to go to sleep, you can actually go to sleep in the beginning and skip the whole beginning part. But first we have to get back to the beginning. You can actually move your heart inside of that cage. One of my subscribers let me know that. So actually try moving that heart. You can still control it. Um, if you look at the cage, it's actually a wagon. So Chris could actually be pulling that wagon around with him outside whenever he's in care form. He could actually bring that wagon and that heart with him. And he might bring that into the gaster door, the red door that you hear. Or some people are saying that that's actually Susie's house. Um, I'm not sure if that's true, but it's just what people have been saying. I thought it was interesting. I'm not sure where Susie would live in the game. She could actually live, you know, near those um, near those apartments to the far upper right of the uh, upper right, where a Monster Kid can be found, or at least uh, someone that looks like an older Monster Kid. Maybe it was Monster Kid's brother. But um. What happens next, uh, we know that Azriel is going to be coming back from uh, college, so this is going to be quite interesting to see. Is Azriel going to like see Chris killing people, like waking up? Is he going to have to tell somebody? Is Chris really the person sending people to their graves? How have people been dying in this uh, small town? I think the town is actually called Hometown. I'm not sure what the town is called, but I do believe it is called Hometown. At least that's what the song is called, a hometown called Hometown or something. If you look it up on uh, Toby Fox's uh, band camp, you can buy the soundtrack for like $7. I 
I'm still not sure if this is actually Kara uh, possessing um, Chris. Another theory that I made, made speculated that it was just the fountain possessing Chris's soul. I'm not sure how he got this ability, but it seems like any time it turns dark or Chris goes to sleep, that's whenever he's actually able to enter the dream world or the dark world. Because if you go to sleep in the beginning, which is what I'm about to show you guys, then uh, you actually teleport to the dream world. So let me reopen the game. And I hope you guys are enjoying my theory. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to join the Petro Squad. If you are new just watching this, this right here is actually what my stream looks like. Um, you know, in the background, it's uh, a part of my stream whenever uh, I'm AFK. Check out my Delta Rune comics and theory videos. I already have a bunch on my channel if this is your first time viewing this. And like I said, don't forget to come to the streams if you want to debate me. And become a pizza roll squad. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open this up. I'm going to try to skip past everything as quickly as possible so I can just show you guys how Chris falls asleep into the dream world. Are you there? A lot of people are speculating this is Gaster. So I'm skipping past this. Skipping. Skippity skip skip. The skippity skip skip. A is my creator. Let's get it. They're the same, A. <laughs> it says something different for A. choose Delta Rune, the opposite of Undertale. So we're back at the room. So if you were to choose to go back to sleep, like I was saying, you may miss a lot of important things. If you go back to sleep, if you go back to bed, sleep. For some reason you decided to go back to sleep so if you were to go back to sleep in the beginning you will be teleported back to the dream world it's kind of like that dream drop distance feel so yeah if you enjoyed this feeling i mean feeling if you enjoyed this uh video feel free to subscribe all that great stuff that I've been saying. Thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, I was able to give you guys Delta Rune Chapter 2, what I think is going to happen. And um, I'll make some more Chapter 2 theories also. And uh, if you want to subscribe for the Ch Delta Rune Chapter 2 comic that I might make if enough people subscribe for it, then feel free to, uh, you know, check out my drawings and channel and whatnot. If enough people do subscribe, then we'll get it. We'll get it. That's going to, uh, it's going to be hype. It's going to be hype, so... I know it takes some time to draw, so I just want to make sure um, people would like it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, there we go. There's that theory. I hope you guys enjoy it, and there's more theories on my channel. Feel free to check them out. Over 25 to 30 videos already done for Deltarune. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, even, and have a nice day.